So one of the other buzzwords now are, is epigenetics. So you know, since the 60s, we know the DNA uh, it codes for our inheritance uh, and how it does that. But now what we've learned is the molecular biology of disease. And we've gotten so much more sophisticated with the molecular revolution at being able to diagnose disease uh, at a very precise level. What are the mutations? How does it relate to signaling abnormalities that result in the altered uh, outcome of uh, behavior or disease? What we're learning now is it's not just the way the DNA is inherited, but the way the DNA is sculpted by environmental factors as well as by pharmacologic factors. Drug exposures, environmental exposures, all modify the genome in ways that alter the individual's molecular and thereby behavioral repertoire and also their molecular and behavioral vulnerability to disease. So this is the epigenetics, meaning that modifications to the DNA alter the way that cells express particular proteins at particular times under particular challenges, which is really the plasticity of the developing brain and the adult, which confers vulnerability or resilience to disease. So I think as we're understanding this dynamic between the environment and your genetic predisposition, we're realizing it's not just rigidly, I have a genetic disposition, predisposition for addiction. No, there may be some genes that are more likely to make you find drugs rewarding, but it's a behavior, not a disease that you have control over and you need to exercise that control. And there are factors, environmental and pharmacologic, that may increase your liability, but hopefully ones that can decrease it, including therapy and working uh, with therapists to try to take control of behavior and make good decisions.